it's really a, it's really better for the fish. It, it trains him not to bite any more hooks. That's unfortunately. That's that's not the training we want to give the fish here, Ryan. <laughs> As your river guide, we don't want him to not bite the hook. I got you. <laughs> So Emily and I both decided that Eureka Springs for a quick weekend getaway sounded like the right idea. We didn't really have a plan, we just went. When we got there, we realized that just about everything was closed except Emily's favorite store. So excited that the only store open in Eureka Springs is the one that Emily loves. Hands up, comfy. So we got a pretty cool Airbnb, had a couple arcade games in it, which I was really excited about. But then we kind of ran out of ideas of what to do. So we started looking up fishing trips. We didn't really know what to expect with this being January, but we looked out and we came across Crooked Hook Guide Service on the White River for rainbow trout. Good morning, it's uh, 5.35 at the Airbnb. To show you how you never get invited back. See that smoke detector right there? It works. Isn't it, Emily? <laughs> I can't help that I'm trying to bake in eggs for you. So, let me show you something. Still quiet hours. So, what? Sorry? It's quiet hours. Not no more. <laughs> we got up really early in the morning, met up with Phil at the river, broke out our Psyonix Pro night vision camera so we could get some good footage for you guys, and hit the water. It took just a little bit to get to where we were going, but once we got there, the bite began and didn't let up all day. Check it out. Get in there. Good God Almighty, that's a bit. Oh, yes, that's awesome. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I hope you got that on video. Oh yeah, we got that. <laughs> man, man, that's the biggest fish put in the boat this month. Really? Yes, ma'am. That is a nice, honey. Absolutely gorgeous trout. Good God.
All right, well, that concludes the end of our fishing trip with Phil from Crooked Hook uh, Guide Service. And you probably are hearing a bunch of noise in the background, and I apologize, but if you guys ever get out to Eureka Springs and want to come fish the White River, you need to look this guy up. We had a fantastic time. Absolutely. We, we limited out. I got the biggest fish. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Phil makes great conversation, even though he was in the Army and not the Marine Corps. It's true. It's really true. <laughs> we, we can't all be perfect. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> great equipment. Um, really helped us out very last minute kind of glad that we ended up with him than who we originally were going to go with no offense because we had such a great time has a great new boat had water and snacks and all sorts of good stuff for us we didn't have to do anything except catch fish and yeah he cleaned them too so we're going to take them home and we're going to cook them up and uh you have anything you want to plug phil all i can say guys i had a great time with you oh, yeah. we did too thank you so much for coming out, out. ryan Thank you. Y'all come fishing with me again. Oh, uh, we are definitely coming back. And, and I'll bone up on my Marine Corps. <laughs> okay, yeah, just, just freshen up on these. All right, brother. All right, guys. Hey, stay tuned. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. Hey, guys. We're in the kitchen at our Airbnb. We're going to do a real quick recipe on baked trout because we don't have a grill. I didn't want to pan fry it. I brought a few ingredients from home, and so it's going to be super simple. Our guide, Phil, from the Crooked Hook Fishing Guide Service, one of his things that he does at the end is he goes ahead and he gills and he guts the fish for you. So all of our fish have been gutted and gilled and then I just ran some cool water uh, through the body cavity to rinse out anything else that was still in there off camera. So they're ready to go. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take lemon, butter, uh, garlic, Everglades seasoning, and rosemary, and we're gonna stuff the body cavities of these fish and bake them 15 to 20 minutes until they're done. So, first thing I need to do is slice up my lemon. And I don't know, there's not real great knives in this Airbnb for us. And this is a knife that I brought from the house. And it's more of a filet knife, skinny knife, and it is, let's cut lemons up knife. But, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're in camp, right? So we'll make do. Honestly, my, uh, what do you call it? Pocket knife probably would have worked just fine too. This is a recipe waiting for disaster on me cutting myself. <laughs> kind of like I always do in my recipes. Die lemon. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's not the most beautiful cutting that I've ever done of a lemon, but it will work for the purposes of this recipe. Now I'm just gonna make kind of pats of butter that can go inside the body cavity and rest on the outside. Uh, you know, some recipes call for a little bit of olive oil here and there, but we don't have any of that where we're at, so I'm subbing butter for olive oil. And then when we get back to the house and get in our own kitchen, we're gonna bring you a recipe because we've got several more fish. We'll bring you a, a recipe for the Rectech. Or maybe the sous vide. Or both because, you know, we've got eight more fish and one of them was 21 inches long. So he'll make quite the meal. I don't wanna make these cuts of butter like super thick. I, I like to keep them kind of thin because they're going in the body cavity of a trout that, you know, is not that large. So before I put anything inside the body cavity, I'm gonna just take my Everglades seasoning and I'm gonna sprinkle on the insides and the outsides of the fish. Ooh, that's a lot. And I'm gonna take some butter, lay it on the insides. And you guys can make this recipe literally any way you want. This is just the ingredients that we had on hand. And this is how we were gonna do it. A lot of people I know use like dill inside the fish but I had rosemary and I thought rosemary would be pretty good. I guess we'll see how it turns out. 
I mean, it's trout. I don't know that you can really like mess it up all too much. It's gonna taste good, kind of no matter how you cook it or you know what what type of stuff that you use in it. So upon further review off camera, we have to put garlic in the fish because Ryan likes garlic in his fish. So I guess I'm going to try to make the garlic fit in the fish just for Ryan. And because I'm kind of OCD about this kind of stuff, I went ahead and I just pulled the garlic out and put it on there because I don't want the spoon going back in the garlic so that the fish is not touching it. Look how pretty this was until Ryan made me stuff it with garlic. Yeah. All right, 15 minutes is up. Let's look here. This looks good. This is peeling off real nice. I think that I'm gonna throw it in the broiler for a couple minutes and just really bring it home. I mean, it's done, we can eat it now, but I just wanna boil it just to see what happens. <laughs> Is that the first time that's happened today? No, this is literally the second time. This is the most sensitive smoke detector ever. At least it's not quiet time, like it was this morning when I set it off. Okay, so we're gonna boil it until the smoke detector goes off. Gosh, dang. Uh, this is just a recipe that can, you can do really quickly and easily in an Airbnb or a cabin that you're staying at. I would have preferred to have grilled them, but this is what, you know, these are our options. So I think it turned out really well with the options that we had. And I had brought some frozen vegetables that we're roasting right now in this toaster oven because the temperatures needed to be different. You know, just simple stuff like that. I know that you guys are a lot more camp cook than I am camp cook, but we travel quite a bit and I've just got used to bringing stuff with us so that we don't eat out as much and save a little bit of money. All right, our vegetables are done. So let's try our fish. Cause I know what the vegetables are gonna taste like. So, wow, that skin is just peeling off so, so easy. You can bone out the fish before, but I didn't. Mm, yeah, that's really good. That uh, that baking it did an amazing job. And it just look at this. I don't know if you can see this in camera, but I just pulled this off, and the bones are still there. I mean, that's how flaky this is. And the inside of the fish, where the herbs and stuff were touching it, oh, it's really good. The rosemary was actually a really good choice. And the garlic was a good choice too, Ryan. So I kind of want to get all the meat off the bones and kind of mix it in with that garlic. And then I'll probably squirt some lemon over the top of it and eat the rest of it like that. So yeah, this is gonna be really great. I don't even know that I'm gonna use fork. This Look, this is like the tiniest fork I've ever seen in my life. What is this for? Why buy this? Why would you buy this? So anyway, well, that kind of concludes our whole fishing trip from start to finish. We went out with a guide service, Crooked Hook Fishing Guide Service. Really appreciate it. It was very last minute. We didn't have the gear to bring with us or the boat, so he really set us up on some fish. We limited out, had a great time, came back to our Airbnb, chilled, went and had a massage, which was really great, and then came back and cooked fish, cooked the trout that we caught today in this Airbnb. So we appreciate it, guys. 
As always, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time we drop a video. Uh, leave a comment, tell us what we're doing right, tell us what we're doing wrong, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for coming on our adventures, and this is the way we hunt.